Jess Davis once made her living as a glamour model, but now she's taking to her trusty camera and stepping into the world of vlogging. So I started doing glamour modelling, which was when I was 18, so I've got eight years ago now. Um, so I went in there right after uni, really, and I kind of got signed straight away with an agency, and then I was contracted to Zoo magazine, that's front, FHM, Daily Star, all that kind of all stuff. All the favourites. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yes, yeah, so I did that for a few years, really, and then obviously there was kind of a big blow of ban the lad mags and page three and then it all kind of dissolved from there and then I was a bit left being like oh where do I go from that I had a lot of followers like on Instagram and Twitter from that so I kind of wanted to somehow use that to kind of push through into a new new industry I guess I was always really interested in media and that kind of angle and then through doing the modeling I kind of learned more and kind of been on set and all that kind of stuff you did sociology in uni yes I did I did sociology and education which people think it's a bit random really they always expect me to have not gone to uni or have done something totally nothing to do with I guess people in the world but <laughs> do, you, do you think there's a stigma with glamour models do you think there's a certain people have a certain perception of them yeah absolutely there's a huge huge stigma which I think that's kind of one of the angles that I kind of why I decided to go into doing blogging and vlogging you know through my Instagram people just see one picture and I'd put these long-winded captions about feminists and stuff and then people just be like oh it's that. So I was like, right, I feel like I need a different platform to kind of be able to put more of myself out there rather than just a picture. And what advice would you give to glamour models who want to follow in your footsteps and maybe try YouTube out? Yeah, I say just go for it because there's definitely not a lot of people doing it and it is kind of breaking through that stereotype because you will get people saying this stuff. I have comments the other day on my YouTube like just here won't say the word, but you know, basically for the image and I've turned the mute, the, um, muted it, so I was like, oh whatever, it's still a view. So it's just one of them things really, that like you have to kind of see the good and not the bad.